Job interviews are a tough process and not something we can necessarily practice nor something that most people will have a lot of experience at as an applicant. Given that once you get a job, then you work there and if you stay put for a long time, then it could easily be years before you go for another one. And it's a different scenario with different explanations and different people every time. In this article from Yahoo Finance, they cover four common tough job interview questions and how to answer them. How to answer tough job interview questions to get the job. Before we get into the questions, one tip I would add from being on the hiring side of hundreds if not thousands of job interviews is that by simply doing research about the company and what they do, you will put yourself ahead of most other candidates. Then being able to throw in that knowledge will highlight that you are someone who comes prepared and puts in the work. These questions are relatively common so having prepared answers for them will make it a lot easier for you. It will also help you feel a bit less nervous knowing that you have some prepared answers for common difficult questions. The article begins with the cliched, what are your weaknesses? Now this is traditionally a difficult question for several reasons. Firstly, you have to deal with the honesty. It tests how humble or arrogant you are and also it's a trap to get you to give negative information about yourself. The article suggests giving an example that has little to do with the role. For example, if you're a chef, you wouldn't say you're not a foodie. If you're in public relations, you wouldn't say you're not a good communicator. You need to pick a weakness unrelated to your desired job position, something that would not impact your ability to fulfill the role successfully. The article says once you give an example, it's important to explain how you're working on it. Personally, I would actually flip this whole thing on its head. A few years ago, I attended a business event at MIT in Boston where a speaker spoke about how every positive trait has a negative attached to it and vice versa. I remember this speaker who was quite tall talked about how high can be seen as a positive at times. You can reach higher and so on, but then you get on an airplane and it's incredibly uncomfortable and you can barely get into the plane's bathroom because it's not made for tall people. In any event, this enables you to find the opposite of the weakness and talk about it as a strength. For example, at times I can be lazy, but as a result, my mind switches to what processes can I put in place to get a task done with less effort. I also make up for this with a get the job done at all costs attitude and will make sure it's done even if I have to work late hours. The next question is the reverse of this. What is your greatest strength? This one is relatively easier, but you don't want to sound like an egomaniac. It's important to mix your response in with how you work well with others. Not just your strength makes you look good, but instead how it benefits the team as a whole. The next question is why should we hire you? This is where doing research on the company and also listening to what the hiring people have said will enable you to answer. It's not just about how good you are at what you do, instead throw in how you will fit into the company's culture with examples from what you have found out about the company. Give examples of similarities to what you have done before, then add how you think the company will benefit from having you be a part of the team to work together to achieve the goals. Don't forget to throw in a few compliments about how impressive the company is and how you want to be a part of it. The fourth question they have is, do you have any questions for us? To which you should have at least a few that you've pre-prepared before even going in. You want to make it clear you are also considering whether this job will suit you, not just whether the company wants to hire you. Ask about the role and what it entails. Ask about the benefits. Ask about the vision for the company. Ideally have some pre-prepared questions from information on their website. Ask them what your day would entail if you got the job. Even ask them what they think about working at the company personally. Finally, ask the rest of the process from here. Remember that the other people are just humans too and the company needs to hire people. So if you genuinely are good at what you do, then this should be a win-win for both parties. This is just food for thought and hopefully gives you a leg up when going for your next job interview. If you enjoyed this, please chuck me a like and subscribe and as always, good luck and I hope you get the job.